Welcome back, friends, to the zombie apocalypse. I'm Juniver, and today in Project Zomboid, we're gonna go... We're gonna go back to the apartments that we've been poking at for a while. We still desperately need magazines. So that's great. And I think our best bet for magazines is gonna be the apartments. Uh, we could also take a look at the hotel that we're getting pretty close to clearing which I'm pretty happy about. Um, but there's not going to be as many opportunities for magazines in the hotel as there are in the apartments. Although it looks like we're going to have to deal with this particular problem first. Where do they keep coming from? Like, basically every day, I'm out here clearing the parking lot, and basically every day, the zombies have refilled the parking lot. I'm not quite sure why. It kind of perplexes me a little bit. Our flashlight is also about to run out of battery. Which is fine. We have plenty of batteries. Alright, one more. You are not welcome here. Alright, so unless we get stopped by more zombies, I'll meet you over at the apartment building. So this is weird. Uh, I can't seem to start the car. I don't think there's any reason for that to happen. I turn the key. 9% in the battery, that's not good. We have plenty of gas. This is the right car, right? Yeah, we just stopped it and we got out. Plenty of gas. Battery says it's green. Turn the key. And the engine doesn't turn on. Okay. I don't I don't get it. I do not understand. Is this a bug or is the car actually broken? I don't think it's broken. All right, I'm going to try reloading the game and see if that fixes it. All right, we're loading back in here. Maybe the car will start now. Nope. The car still won't start. I am very confused. I mean, my best guess is that the battery percentage here at 9% is too low. It has to be 10% or else the vehicle won't start. So I'm going to assume that that's it. What what type of battery is this? Did not expect today to start with car trouble. It is a heavy-duty car battery. All right. What car would have a heavy-duty battery? Probably this van. Yeah, let's take a look at this van. See if it has a battery with more than 10%. This van has an 85% battery. So we're just going to uninstall that. This uh, van's in pretty good shape, I'll have to remember that. But we need its battery, apparently. This is my best guess. If this doesn't work, then I am very, 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 very perplexed. Alright, we successfully installed the battery with 85% remaining. I'm gonna take this one and toss it in the back. And then hop in the front seat here and see if this works. It works? Alright, well that was our problem. Well, that's good to know. 10%. If your battery hits 10%, your car won't start. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, but also... It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's fine. I'm not going to complain about it. But now I know. 
What that really means is that I need to get better about idling the car. Idling the car will keep the battery full. And it really doesn't burn much gas to leave your car idling in this game, so... In real life, you don't really want to leave your car idling. There's a bunch of reasons not to do that. But in this game, leaving the car idling for a while will recharge the battery. And as we can tell here, with this particular situation, the battery appear apparently needs some tender loving care. We're coming in on some zombies. Ooh, this guy, I think he has something that I really would like to have. I think it is like a tomahawk of some kind. Wait a second here for more zombies, and then we can take a look at that. If I'm correct, and that is what I think it is, then it's a very, very, very powerful axe, which I am overjoyed to have. Very powerful one-handed axe. With our Axeman trait and our level 7 skill, yeah, it's a battle axe. Excellent. Definitely taking that. Battle axe is very powerful. I'd show it off, but there's no real no real need to show it off. We'll show it off later. How is the indoors looking? There's a fair number of zombies in here. Actually, we're going to be in a little bit of a pickle here. So I'm going to quickly run out the front door, or the garage door here. You know, I take it back. Here we go. Battle axe. You're up. Alright. This is a very powerful weapon here. It should allow us to overcome this massive pile of zombies that we have, uh gotten ourselves entangled with. Well, this is a very discombobulated mess right here. Clearly, while we've been away, the zombies have pushed in with pretty considerable force. I'm gonna have to remember that hand axe. Alright, so one of the big reasons that I'm definitely using this battle axe instead of something that weighs more is because... We are going to need a lot of endurance. Definitely going to need a lot of endurance to survive this particular mistake. I'm not even sure how many are totally following us. Maybe less than I think it is, but... It's way too many. Alright, I am sensing we are beginning to gain the upper hand in this particular battle. Alright. Oof, all right, there weren't as many following us as I thought there would be, so that's good. Our battle axe is now the robust battle axe. That sounds good. That's probably a durability perk, I would assume. Oh, right, hang on. We need this. Hand axe, very nice. All right, I'm actually going to... You know what? We got the battle axe, we're gonna use the battle axe. It's a terrific weapon. It does an enormous amount of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and lighten our load here, stick our crowbar in our backpack. Apparently that didn't help. Well, we're also hungry. Eat some chips. Our weight is steady because I ate butter. Just a whole stick of butter earlier. Need to grab me some more cereal is what I need. All right. So keeping an eye out for fake dead zombies, I guess we're going to go back in here. Oh, there's one in the corner that I didn't see. Whew. Oh, and there's one. Wow, I'm I'm having a hard time spotting zombies today. It's, uh, it's quite lucky that I'm not dead right now. <laughs> this has not been going very well. Not been going to plan. But fortunately, we aren't in as terrible a position as I thought we might be. In my in my rush to get out of here, to get to safe ground, I didn't pay a lot of attention as far as 
how many zombies were actually following us. So it seems like it isn't quite as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, I will be surprised if we get a hit with this battle axe. It isn't a one shot. That's how powerful this weapon is when combined with the uh, axe man trait that Teresa Day has. Couple, couple following us down out here. I think we're finally getting to the point where we're getting close to having this whole building emptied out. And of course, as I say this, a whole bunch more of them piles outside. This guy's got a dagger in his leg. Wow, when these uh, antique armory weapons come, they sure come quick. Not gonna say no. Definitely not gonna say no. I just have to get it without getting eaten. All right, all good. How are we doing? We still have more people pouring down from upstairs? Do some more shouting. The goal with the shouting is to pull zombies from upstairs down the main staircase so that there aren't any upstairs when we start trying to clear out the apartments themselves. We're gonna do a lap around the building too. I don't want zombies, groups of zombies working their way in when we are clearing those apartments. It's just a couple of solos hanging around out here. That's not a huge deal, but a big group would be a big problem. Fortunately, I'm not seeing any big groups so far. Just a couple of stragglers over here. Again, I'm going to try not to get too close to this building. It does help that we've been working in this area for a while. Uh, if you're not quite sure where we are, this is the area we've been going to a couple of times that has some houses that we've been looting. So we've been working in this area for a, a, quite a while now. Making some good progress. So the result of that is that this is a... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that was close. We didn't get hurt. We didn't get hurt. Did our shoes or anything get ripped? It looks like we might have lost some protection on our on our top here. That's that lunge animation. I wasn't anticipating it. We got hit by the lunge animation. But our clothes protected us. So that's lucky. All right, well, now that we've almost died, let's have a very uneventful remainder of this episode. How about that? I don't need any more scares. Just clear some more, clear some more zombies in this area. Let our uh, shout that we did down there pull them in from the upstairs. I think that's a good call. All right. Well, if we go back in here in a second and there's no zombies on the bottom floor, that's a pretty good sign that we've actually cleared out the whole building, or at least almost the whole building. However, if there's a whole bunch of them in here, then obviously that's a different story. Two so far? I was hoping for zero. I was honestly hoping for zero here. The robust battle axe of the mammoth. I like that. If it's just those two, or I guess three, this might be okay. We might be in luck. We might have finally... Uh, finally finished off all the zombies in this building. I'm wondering if I need to do one more, one more shout here. Maybe we risk it. Maybe we start going up the stairs. Oh, this is scary. Very scary. I don't hear any zombies. 
Which, of course, doesn't really mean anything. Because it could be pretty quiet. Alright, so the first floor seems safe. I'm gonna go back down, make sure we're not getting our single exit cut off by other zombies that have worked their way inside here. Because that's possible. But we might just be in luck. We might be done. Time to loot this whole building. Alright, just to be extra cautious, I'm going to poke my head out front, out on this road, just real quick. Make sure there's no big piles of zombies out here. And then we're going to start looting. Alright. If anything interesting happens, you'll be sure to see it, but the, uh, unless anything interesting happens, it's going to be very boring because all the apartments are going to be exactly the same. So, I am going to get looting. We've looted one whole apartment, I think, apart from this bathroom on the end. We have seen zero zombies, and we have seen zero skill magazines, which is what we're here for. Found some interesting stuff in the kitchen that would be useful, you know. I should probably take the cereal. Um, but other than, other than that, really not too much going on in here. I don't hear any zombies at all, even their little quiet noises that they make, so... It's starting to look like we might be might be safe here. Alright, I hear a zombie. I think he's back in the in the closet here. I'm gonna whack the door. Alright, it looks like it's just the one. Alright, they've spotted us and they're headed in our direction. Alright, because of the noise that this probably made. I think I'm going to head for the exit, just to be safe. This is the exit, this is the bathroom. What about this? Oh, okay. I guess we can loot the rest of this first. Nothing. Alright, so far no luck on magazines. We've only looted two apartments, and those are the two apartments on one floor. There's four apartments per floor. Yeah, there's four. We're going to head back down just in case. We have uh, some zombies that have hurt us, just to be extra safe. But it looks like we're probably good. Yep, looks good. All right, I'll proceed with uh, with looting that level of the building. Well, we've finished looting all four apartments on this level. So, I guess we go up. Click, click, click. I'd like the elevator, please. I don't want to take the skit, the stairs. The stairs are scary. Oh well. I guess we have to take the stairs. Despite how scary they are, the further we get inside this building, the more dangerous it gets. One apartment down. Three to go on this level. Well, this is the closest we've got so far. Electronics Magazine Volume 3, which we've already read. So, they can exist here. We just haven't found any yet. Well, that's uh, two of four apartments down on this level, with nothing useful at all. Most useful thing I think we found is cereal. Mac and cheese? I'll take that. That's probably high in carbs. So is this cereal and this peanut butter. So we are taking some stuff, but we really don't need the extra food. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Herbalist guide, we know. Darn it. Herbalist guide is always a good thing to find in most games because it lets you identify the mushrooms and the berries so you know if you're eating poisonous ones or not. However, we started with the herbalist trait, so it doesn't matter for us. I did see an, uh, an uh, non-broken down door in this apartment, so that makes me nervous. But I think I would probably hear zombies on the other side of the door if there, if there was any, and I don't hear them. 
But regardless, we'll take that door pretty carefully. Actually, it's a bathroom. We could just skip it, but... Oh well, we're not gonna skip it. Alright, good. It's empty. To be ready to run, basically. So our character is starting to get bored because all we've been doing is walking around inside this uh, building for a number of in-game hours, but I am anything but bored right now. There is a lot of risk in being in here just because of how cornered we are. If something bad were to happen, there are very few options available to us. So I'm not bored. I am anything but bored because we're going up to the third level. That's right. Third level. Looks safe so far. Oh, look, here's a magazine we haven't read yet. Good Cooking Magazine, Volume 1. We could make cake batter, pie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm taking that. If that's the only thing we come out of here, though, I'm going to be pretty sad. This is the top floor, I think. There's Yeah, there's no more. So this is the top floor. If all we get is that Good Cooking Magazine, well, then... That's kind of disappointing, I have to say. Alright, another open or unopened door. Alright, we're good. It makes me feel pretty confident, since all the doors are busted down, that our screaming in the basement did its job and pulled everybody out of here. But it's obviously not a guarantee. We did find one zombie in this building. All right, well, we're moving on to the last room, or the last apartment in the building. So we found one singular magazine that we needed, one skill magazine. And this is our last opportunity in this whole building, is this, uh, this particular apartment. I have a good feeling about this. There's two bookshelves here. Comic book. Not very useful. Hunter Magazine Volume 3 that we already have. Great. Thank you. Alright, here's an intact door. Seems good to me. This, uh... This might just be a bust. Yep, it's looking like no skill magazines that we didn't already have apart from that good cooking. Can't take the elevator down. Click, 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 click. Nope. Oh well. well that's the way it goes. This sort of high-rise apartment building is much scarier to loot than a typical residential house. Just because we're so far from the ground here, with no escape. If this one tile-wide staircase gets filled with zombies that are, for any reason, going up the stairs, we're dead. I mean, we could maybe save ourselves by basically jumping off the roof, depending on how high up we were. Um, but that's quite risky. So... This uh, turned out not to give us what we needed. We didn't get our skill magazines, but that's all right. At the end of the day, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna make it through the winter just fine, especially because I grabbed a whole bunch of cereal and honey and mac and cheese and peanut butter and stuff while I was in there. That'll all keep us, you know, healthy through winter. So I'm not too worried, but at the end of the day, I really wish that we had the uh, Hunter magazine so we could start doing some actual hunting. One trick that I do have up my sleeve if we don't manage to find the uh, Hunter magazines is that the foraging that you get from um, removing vegetation, oftentimes you can get dead animals that you would otherwise get by trapping. You can get that with relatively decent commonality through the um, remove vegetation from the 10, year, 10 years later mod. So if we really get desperate for um, food that has a lot of protein in it, 
we can just go ahead and do a lot of foraging, remove all the vegetation on the roads and stuff like that. And we should get enough, um, like, dead squirrels and dead birds and stuff that we can make it through the winter without having any concerns. So I'm not, I'm not at all concerned about making it through the winter, but I would feel a lot better if we were working on our trapping skill. So it's pretty late. It's been a long, stressful episode for me here. So I'm going to sign off here. Thanks, friends, for joining me today. I appreciate it. I hope you had a good time, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.